latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Kevin Holmes with a look at your headlines for Sunday, November 8th. A Kansas City homeowner headed to federal prison after pleading guilty to wire and bankruptcy fraud. A judge sentenced Carol Dilley on Friday. She was also ordered to pay $76,000 in restitution for stealing her husband's Social Security benefits over multiple years. She owns two homes west of the plaza and 300 and 311 complaints show neighbors have contacted the city on numerous occasions to report rodent and rat problems and property violations. City leaders responded they had exterminators treat the properties. According to the Kansas City Star, both homes are now up for sale. KCK police say gunfire hit and killed a teen while that teen was driving. Officers responded to 10th and Lyons just after 6 a.m. on an injury accident. Investigators say it appears the teen was driving south on 10th Street when gunfire hit his vehicle, killing him and causing his vehicle to hit a parked car. If you know anything about this, you're asked to call the tips hotline. On Monday, a Kansas City activist plans to bring up the removal of the Andrew Jackson statues at the Jackson County Legislature's meeting. 59% of voters, nearly 190,000 people, rejected the idea to remove the statues from the downtown and historic Truman Courthouses in Independence. Reverend Brandon Mims, the senior pastor at the Greater Metropolitan Church of Christ, well, he says he will not give up until the statues are gone. Gary Lezak with your forecast. All right, Kevin, thank you. A cold front will be approaching us and moving through on Tuesday morning, and it's rather dramatic. Look at this. 60s at about 1 o'clock in the morning, 65 all the way to about 4 o'clock in the morning, and then the temperatures crash. This is tomorrow night, not tomorrow, all right? Tuesday is the day of that big change. Tonight, it's going to stay in the 60s, 63 degrees for the low tonight. Chance of rain reaches about, oh, 100% on 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Have a fantastic night.